The Nigeria Center for Disease Control says there is a very low possibility of an Ebola outbreak in Nigeria. This assertion was made after the recent declaration by the World Health Organization that the Ebola outbreak in eastern Congo is a public health emergency. Kemi Balogun explores mechanisms put in place and precautionary measures that the public should take even without an outbreak. The last time the Global Health Organization declared an international emergency for Ebola was during the 2014 to 2016 outbreaks in West Africa that killed more than 11,000 people. This new declaration means that this current outbreak qualifies for a higher level of global vigilance and mobilization to stem its spread like Nigeria did in 2014 when the Ebola outbreak occurred. This was one time that all Nigerians came together and we stopped Ebola in its tracks. You can see from what's happening in the DRC that if we had not worked tirelessly, tirelessly to ensure that we put in place all the interventions that made it possible for us to contain the outbreak, we probably would have been still battling with the Ebola outbreak because of the density of the Nigerian population. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control says it has put mechanisms in place that will ensure public safety and curtail any spread of the Ebola virus to Nigeria's shores. So what we have been doing at the Nigeria Center for Disease Control it's not been triggered by this uh, recent declaration by the World Health Organization. We have been preparing, literally, for the past five years. And how do you prepare? You build an institution and the capabilities around surveillance, your laboratories, your emergency uh, response, the port health services by your partners, and build an architecture of response. So by being able to respond to small outbreaks and even large ones that have been happening across the country for the past four to five years, we have built a very capable workforce work to lead our country's defense. Some public and private hospitals have continued to encourage public safety on Ebola, but some of these measures have been long forgotten since the Ebola outbreak came to an end. This used to be the usual trend when Ebola outbreak occurred, but these days it is hard to find a setup like this either in hospital or in public buildings. Washing hands with soap and water or using hand sanitizers is one step in the prevention of Ebola. Let us all be on that alert mode, being obsessive about hand washing, maintaining hand hygiene. So in a home, you want, you've been out, you've come back to your home, the first place you should go to is your washroom. Clean your hands before you start going into your kitchen to uh, prepare food or you know, doing anything else in your home. In the hospital setting, every health worker, as you finish from one, um, attending to one client, before you move to the next client, you must maintain hand hygiene. The World Health Organization says that although there is a new vaccine which has had some success in slowing Ebola, sometimes diagnosis could be wrong. If anyone around you is ill with a fever, so if you remember all the, the symptoms that I reeled out, mm -hmm. fever, headache, body aches, very similar to malaria, very similar to, you know, when people have uh, typhoid fever, uh, very similar to you having a common flu. Um, so... The, the likelihood is that everyone will say, oh, I have malaria and might not even go to a hospital. For Nigeria and Nigerians, it remains a prayer that we will never have to pass through an Ebola outbreak ever again. Kemi Balogun, TVC News, Abuja.